here at Glitz and Glue. Very excited for today's tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to make this giant cotton candy the easiest possible way. I have made so many cotton candies, small, big, medium, and I am very, very thrilled to share with our YouTube family one of the biggest ones I have ever made. If you guys wanna to subscribe to my channel, I invite you to do so. We would love to have you here, part of our family. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you can receive an alert on the next tutorial. Are you guys ready to get started? I am. First item you're gonna need is a foam sheet, and this is just a beige foam sheet from Hobby Lobby, a ruler, a brush, a sponge brush or a regular brush, and your acrylic paints. I'm using the color chestnut and classic caramel. What you're gonna do before you do anything else is with your ruler, we're gonna create a waffle pattern on our foam sheet. And you can either use a marker, you can use really whatever you want, whatever you find is easier for you. Uh, I'm gonna be dipping my brush, this one right here, inside my classic caramel. I'm gonna push, push this aside. And then with my ruler, I'm gonna place it right here on this corner, dip this in here, and then we're gonna do a line across. I'm gonna put the ruler on this side so it'll be easier for me. You can create the waffle pattern look as wide, as big as you'd like. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit space in between each one. And if you notice, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on my ruler. I'm sorry, not on my ruler. Like I'm not uh, dipping this in a lot of paint and really marking it down because we are gonna go over this in just a second. And you're gonna continue to do this throughout the whole paper. It depends how big you want your cone to be. I'm just gonna do it all or at least almost all of it just because I find it's just easier just to do. So continue doing this until you finish the this line going across. Once you finish all this across, get your ruler one more time and then now you're gonna flip your paper over a little bit and you're gonna do the same thing but now across. And I'm gonna give you a little example before, then we can pick it up another, another little bit and then go over it one more. And you don't need to be very uh, precise right now with your lines because we are gonna go over it in just a minute. And you're gonna continue to do this all the way. Once you finish, this is how it's gonna look like. Now we're gonna push this in front of us real quick. And this is where we're gonna use our paints. And I'm gonna use just a very small amount of my chestnut color. Then we're gonna put our classic caramel. And then let's mix this up together. Just to get that nice chocolatey look. With our brush, I went ahead and wet this a little bit. We're gonna bring our paper over and you can actually leave it like this if you like. I'm gonna dip this inside my paint and just kind of clean it off a little bit so you won't have that extra paint there. And then we're gonna go over it just like this to give it that brownish tone all the way across. And continue to do that throughout the whole thing. The good thing about this is that it you can keep mixing your colors like the light, the dark. You can even use a little bit of khaki or beige to kind of get different tones of the waffle look in this. And you don't need to keep adding a lot of paint to your brush, as you guys can see. I'm putting some and then I just kind of smear it on my parchment paper. And you do this all across. Once you have this all done, we're gonna use our styrofoam cone. This is a uh, let me see, a 8.9 inch styrofoam cone, and I did get this from Hobby Lobby. You can get different sizes. Actually, I, 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 I didn't. I got this from Walmart, now that I remember. What we're gonna do is flip this over, and before we glue anything down, we're gonna make sure that this goes all the way around, 
and it does. Let me get this side because the other side is still not dry. Neither is this side. <laughs> okay, so once we have that down, we have our kind of measurements to do it all the way around. I'm going to add a little bit of my low temp glue gun right here on this side. Very, very small amount. And then we're going to bring this across like this. Just press it down. Let's go ahead and roll this all the way around. And then with my pinky shears, and these are kind of some pretty cool, actually not those. Uh, these are pretty cool zigzag scissors uh, that you can get from Walmart or online. I'll link some for you guys in the description of this tutorial. Let's go ahead and start right here at the bottom. And we're going to cut across all the way. Once we, re we reach this part here, let's go ahead and get our glue and put a line all the way across. And I'm going to put just a little bit there too. Let's go ahead and roll this. And then I'm going to roll this part right here. And then right here we can close this off like this. And then hold it there until it is all dry. And then we'll go ahead and cut the top part. And with our scissors, we're going to go around and cut this up like this. And I'm going to cut a little bit big and then we'll go ahead and trim down on this area if we want. Then with your glue, just go ahead and put it all on the rim on the inside. That way it will attach really, really well. And then just press this. Look at this, guys. Look how this is turning out. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on there step is to use a huge styrofoam ball this is about a six inch styrofoam ball and then you'll need a wooden dowel and we have our cone here I'm probably gonna go ahead and cut this part off because we're not really making an ice cream cone we're making a cotton candy cone if that that makes sense or if that's even a thing I don't know we're making it a thing again I never do things that are actual things so you guys should not be surprised <laughs> <laughs> so with our wooden doll we're just going to push it in through the center here and then we're going to do the hole right here in the center and it's crooked <laughs> so let's try this one more time until we aim it perfect let's add our low temp glue gun right here to the center and then we're just going to push this down and then just let it dry for a little bit. Something maybe I should have done is cut that part flat just a little bit so it can lay flat on there and we won't risk it falling apart. But it'll it'll dry just fine. Let me push this aside and continue to the next part. Now, you guys know Hobby Lobby uh, had these for spring and they probably still have some and they're on sale so go and snatch as many as you can however if you cannot get a hold of these i have other options for you you can use a roving yarn you can find it at hobby lobby walmart amazon i'll link a few of these for you guys in the description of the tutorial and on the description of the youtube tutorial <laughs> i feel like i'm talking to my private group here and then i i'll you can choose whichever one you like so they have three colors i'm gonna go with my pink so I have a bag already opened. I'm not going to be opening this one here. So let's just take out all of our pink filler. And I think with this should be enough. I have a, a, a few other bags. I always buy them every year. A whole bunch of them because I know I use them year round. And I use them during Christmas off, off season. So I always tell you guys whenever you uh you know you guys like my style or what i teach i always encourage you guys to get these when they're on sale at hobby lobby because i use them all the time so once we separate our yarn just like this we're going to use our low temp glue gun and two reasons one the high temp will melt my melt my styrofoam and i'm getting my fingers pretty close to this so i want to make sure to use my low temp glue gun so you guys can see I kind of scattered it around a little bit here. And then I always like to work, what's that saying called? Work smarter, not harder. So 
Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's put a whole bunch of our glue. This is the case where we're gonna see if this works. If not, then trial and error, right? That's what we're here for, to make things easier for you. I'm gonna flip this over and then I'm just gonna push my fake cotton candy on my ball. Then let's put more of our glue. And then let's bring this up like that. Next, we're going to use our ribbon. And this is just a pretty uh, nice ribbon that I got from Etsy. Etsy has really cool shops with really cool ribbon. And the way I do my bows are pretty easy. I just bring the loop around. And before I do the second loop, I kind of want to place it right here on my cotton candy to see if this is a good size. And then we're just going to pinch right here. Bring this tail down. Bring this loop right over. And then pinch one more time. Let's pick these two up like this. Cut this part off. Then with a pipe cleaner or your floral wire, whatever you prefer, bring this around and then very tight in the back, just twist it. Let's go ahead and cut these extra pipe cleaners off. And then you can dovetail your, your ends. I almost chopped off my finger there. I felt it on my nail. Let's fix up our cotton candy up here. And you can decide whether you want to do this side or this side. And I'm going to do it right here where we applied this. And I might trim down my tails. I think they're a little bit too big. Let's put some hot glue. And then put a little bit of pressure right here. Actually, let me bring it down a little bit lower. Oh, I got it wrong. I put it two to the other side. Let me put more of my glue right here. Let's pick this up. Let's bring our cotton candy down. We have this other little flap here. Let's glue it down. You can apply uh, some uh, adhesive, some spray adhesive to help with the loose parts of your cotton candy. Let's bring this a little bit smaller. Just trim it down just a little bit. And here is our giant ice cream cotton candy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this super easy tutorial and give it a try. I always encourage you guys to just try these craft style fake bakes, I what we call them. <laughs> Pretty Some of them are easier than others and I think this is one that is extremely easy. If you guys want to join our community at Glitz and Glue, we have a free group for you guys to join over on Facebook. It is called Craft Along with Glitz and Glue. You can show off all of your amazing creations or if you want to show me something that you created here that I, that I showed you how to make, you can share it with us over there. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Also, if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That really helps us out. And to turn on that bell notification for my next tutorial and you will be alerted. I said that backwards. <laughs> Have a fabulous day, you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.